Chickas and Chickas. Welcome to DMSF. You have made the right decision in enrolling here in DMSF. We are now part of an institution that upholds excellence in the teacher and student welfare. Before you start your journey here, it is important to take note of the following information. And guidelines, but don't worry. We are your guide. To start with, you must make sure that you are enrolled here in DMSF. How would you know if you are already enrolled? You will be officially enrolled if you submitted all the appropriate requirements. Complied with the medical laboratory prescribed by the school. Fill in the enrollment forms. Made at least 50% down payment of the total semester of fee. Most importantly, you already received the enrollment registration certificate or the ERC form from the registrar's office. If you are also still confused with the enrollment procedure, here's a recap. Step 1. You need to submit the required documents to the office of the registrar. Then you secure the pre-registration note that is PRN from the college for the subjects to be enrolled before the enrollment form is given. You just remember that prior to enrollment, you have to comply the laboratory and the medical test at DMSF Hospital Laboratory. You must seek first a lab test request, request note at the school clinic and present it to DMSF Hospital Lab. Step 2. Fill in the enrollment form and have it signed in the following offices. Step, Step 3. Submit at the Registrar's Office the copy of Enrollment Form for issuance of Enrollment Registration Certificate. Step, Step 4. Proceed to OSA for the student's ID capturing and issuance for school uniform requirements and for the student's handbook issuance. Enrollment process quick and efficient. Again, are you already a certified DMS student? If you want to check for the requirement, you can always visit the Registrar's Office. The Registrar's Office maintains an effective and efficient system for student records, management, security and storage. Let's talk about adding and dropping subjects. For adding, you just need to secure three copies of the adding form from the Registrar's Office. Then, have it approved by the Dean, Student Personnel and the Registrar. Next is processing the payment to the cashier. You then submit an accomplished form to the college dean, registrar, and cashier. Lastly, you need to secure a new enrollment registration certificate with the added subject and you can get that in the registrar's office. Dropping subjects are only allowed before midterm exam. You also need to secure three copies of the dropping form from the registrar's office. Then, have it signed by the respective instructors. Next, you have it approved the College Dean, OSA, Registrar, and Finance. Lastly, submit a copy of the accomplished dropping form to the College Dean, Registrar, and the Finance, the billing in charge for the records purposes. You can file a leave of absence for a minimum of one academic year or more, as prescribed in the rules stipulated in the student handbook. Also, before the semester ends, never forget to comply with the clearance. Here's how you do it. Easy, Easy, right? Take note that students are required to process their semestral clearance one week before the final examination in order to secure an examination permit from the finance office. Students cannot proceed to the semestral enrollment unless clearance has been made from the previous semester. Now how about if you want to request documents from the registrar's office? If you want to ask for certifications, 
Here are different certifications you can request from the office. Enrollment, grade, units earned, dean's list, candidacy for the graduation academic completion, general weighted average, English as a medium of instruction, ranking for the undergraduate students only, visa conversion extension for foreign students, other data which are available and verifiable only. Take note, other than the student or graduate proof of identity is needed for those authorized representatives. Example, valid IDs, SPA, etc. Now, let's head to the finance office. The finance office is where you usually pay your school fees. Did you know that you can pay your tuition in full and in return you can get a discount on your tuition fee? You can also pay it in installments and pay 50% of the total assessment for the whole semester. The balance can be paid in two installments. First is a week before the midterm exam and the second is a week before the final term exam. Looking for alternative ways to avoid long lines? Safe and convenient ways to pay your enrollment and tuition fees? Fun fact, you can have 25,000 peso medical reimbursement if you meet an accident. You just need to file a report to the clinic and is signed by two witnesses. You will also have to represent incident report, medical certificate, doctor's prescriptions, official receipt, lab results if there is any, and x-ray or pictures of the injured part. Just note that these has to be passed within 30 days of the accident. Next, Next stop is our school clinic. Enrolling in DMSF gives you amazing perks with their school clinic. They don't only cater to the medical and dental needs of students, they also offer it to teaching and non-teaching staff of the Davao Medical School Foundation Incorporated. Their programs and services are as follows. Health screening of incoming students and newly hired employees, monitors annual physical examination, annual dental examination, annual diagnostic and physical examination, daily medical consultation, makes medical reference, renders nursing care to the sick students and the employees at the clinic, administers first aid medication for common illnesses, conducts preventive measures and control of communicable diseases through vaccinations example hepatitis B or Versalia etc. renders first aid and emergency measures follows up students and employees with health problems. They also initiate programs and activities for health promotion of students and staff. Conducts health counseling, ensures a healthy and safe school environment, keeps and maintains health records of employees and students. How cool, How is, that? cool is that? Cool! cool. Upon enrollment, you will need to comply with the laboratory and here are the requirements that the clinic requires you. Then submit all your clinic requirements in a long size envelope together with the duly filled up PE form. A 2x2 two two picture to be attached to the form. New students must submit to the physical examination with the school physician, which will be scheduled. To make sure that your medical certificate is valid, it must be on hospital stationary bond paper and must be attached photocopy laboratory results. If you are a student of this proud institution, you have the responsibility to safeguard the name of the school and conduct yourself with dignity and decency. May you be in or off school. It's just simple. Show some respect, courtesy with your schoolmates, teachers, and non-teaching personnel and visitors. You should refrain from loitering in the corridors. Any noises that may disturb the classes is a no-no. No, no. Wear your proper uniform. If you don't follow the prescribed uniform, you will be stopped by the guards and will not be able to enter the campus. For my male friends out there, long hairs and ponytails, wearing earrings and any other body piercings will not be allowed. 
Ball cap should not be worn inside the classroom. Always wear your ID as well as the issued nameplate. Gross misconduct not wearing the school ID or the nameplate inside the campus. Not wearing the prescribed uniform, including shoes and haircut. Improper dress during non-uniform days. Failure to convert to renew student's visa and passport on time. Non-attendance to institutional activities. Involved directly or indirectly in spreading false information, derogatory remarks or rumors against persons and institutions through social media. Failure to inform new and current address or residency to the FSU within 5 days of shifting to a new one. Tampering of notices or documents posted for dissemination. Hazing or ragging. Hooliganism. Instigating, leading or participating in concerted activities leading to stoppage of classes. Preventing or threatening students or faculty members or student authorities from discharging their duties or from attending classes or entering the school premises. Abusive behavior, discourtesy, disrespect or defamation and or insubordination committed against any teacher, student, employee or school authority. Smoking within the campus and its extensions. Fighting on campus or off campus. Cyberbullying, cybersex, taking or uploading and distribution of indecent pictures or videos. Vandalism. Immorality. Dishonesty. Drunkenness. Bringing up gambling paraphernalia and engaging in gambling in any form inside the campus and its extension. Possession, distribution, selling and consumption of any kind of dangerous and perverted drugs. Illegal use, possession of or bringing of explosives and deadly weapons into the campus. Unauthorized visits and staying in resort places like Sama Island or other tourist destinations without written express permission from school authorities. Indecent acts of sexual indulgence, exploitation in whatever form, gang rape. Involvement in terroristic activities, whether direct or indirect. Cheating. Cheating. Any acts violating the Philippine Revised Penal Code or, or, local, city or local city ordinance. You should also make the most of your college days and join the holistic clubs. DMSF has the following clubs you can join. If you feel troubled and need some help, don't forget our guidance office. They will help you and provide you assistance in your continued growth. Feeling down? Visit our guidance office. Having problems with your studies? Visit the guidance office. Feeling great? Visit, visit the guidance office. They all offer individual and group counseling and testing services. Of course, to help you with your study resources, our library is something to boot. You can check the circulation section, technical section, reference section, resource share and program, media service counter, and photocopying and printing. If you want to have a group meeting, the library also has small group discussions rooms. Also, if you are having trouble with the library, you can always ask a librarian for help. You can check the library collection via online public access catalog at your postal gadget or at the library OPAC station. You may also opt to use online journals and books that the library subscribe. Of course, most of you will have classes in the laboratory. Let's head over there. While having your classes in the laboratory, you just have to follow these simple do's and don'ts. Number one, absorb proper hygiene. No eating, drinking, smoking and applying cosmetics and handling contact lenses inside the laboratory. Arrange your chair and pick up your trash before. Wash hands before leaving. Always ask permission before using our laboratory. No using of electronic gadgets for entertainment purposes. Wear appropriate personal protective equipments, PPE. 
Lastly, no horse playing inside the laboratory. Do not take risk with safety, whether or not it's meant as a joke. Get a copy of the laboratory guidelines and the policies at the Office of Basic Science. The Basic Science Laboratory is located at the entire second level of the main DMSF building servicing all the laboratory classes of this institution except for Gross Anatomy and Neuroanatomy which is located at the third level RM M301. Before we end the tour, here are some important information you need to know for your safety and security when inside the school. The safety and security department is tasked in preparation and installation of safety warning signs and etc. You should also take note of these signs. DMSF is equipped with these facilities. You can request for CCTV viewing for lost, missing valuable items. DMSF community regularly conducts fire and earthquake drill in the campus for disaster preparedness. Your cooperation is highly expected. Always remember the saying, refrain from doing activities that may endanger your safety and safety for others. Upon entering the campus, Think safe first. And upon leaving the campus, Think safe. Work safe. Be safe. The Safety and Security Department assist students in their pre and post activities too. So keep in touch with these guys when you are planning an activity with your club. We are really excited for you, Chicos and Chicas! We hope you'll enjoy your journey with DMSF. Welcome to this proud institution! Yahoo! Yeah.